So I think the mystery of why Alpha Investment is so positive on Magic the Gathering when he's been incredibly negative over the past two, three years is because of MetaZoo. Surprisingly, MetaZoo will explain this pretty easily. MetaZoo was his darling. It was, I mean, he's got, what, 10 promos, 12 promos, 10 play mats, something like that. He's got a ridiculous amount of MetaZoo promos that were given to him. Supposedly, he paid money for them. We don't actually know. Like I said, unless you see the invoice and receipts, how, how do you know this? Um, in, in many games, promos, including MetaZoo, they gave Go Metal supporter promos, and they didn't charge money for them. And in, uh, even in Rudy's own video, he had suggested that there were more promos, and he, he was trying to get in touch with the Mike individual to see where the other Pancho promos went. So we have a interesting scenario, to say the very least, right, where you have an individual, and they are basically promoting selling promos of themselves in a card game and making who knows how much money right from these promos what the but the margins have to be as you imagine very very high so instead of pushing meta zoo because meta zoo is bankrupt and even alpha investment will say it's in it's not investable He's got to push magic and this is a little bizarre right because a lot of his top videos which are related to magic are very anti hasbro anti wizard of the coast and if you believe that wizard of the coast is this bad even though they're producing magic nothing has changed uh, if anything chris cock got a nice big bonus he's here to stay i don't think anyone thinks chris cox is uh going to go anywhere anytime soon and i don't think anyone thinks cynthia williams is going to go anywhere anytime soon so we have a very awkward type of scenario happening here where he has to play nice with magic the gathering he has to say prices are going to the moon he has to say all this because that's a the only way he can move his merchandise and be the only merchandise he can move. Now I know what you guys are saying. What about Weiss? Well, he's saying Weiss is going to the moon. Anyone who plays Weiss knows the problem selling a single box is the same problem with Fire Emblem Cypher. It's in Japanese boxes. There's a certain amount of hits per box or per case. Uh, and if you are buying loose boxes, it's going to end very very poorly for you so again we have a scenario where weiss isn't exactly investable from a sealed box standpoint because most sealed boxes most loose boxes you would buy online they don't actually have these valuable hits uh, what happens is that in a case let's say 16 case and there's free hits well, even without box mapping, even without doing any of this type of stuff available, you can just open boxes until you get all free hits. And if there's two boxes remaining, five boxes remaining, depending on your luck, 10 boxes remaining, then you sell the rest of them on TCG Player, therefore loose boxes. And, you know, people know this, and that's why whatnot, they're always saying, oh, these boxes come from a fresh case. Unless you see the case being opened, and you can actually see that the case is packaged correctly, it's not from a fresh case, right? It's one of the oldest tricks on whatnot is to pretend it's from a fresh case when you know they're just loose boxes. And loose boxes, again, for Weiss are incredibly dangerous uh, because they are valuable. I mean, they are not valuable. The hits are probably gone. So that eliminates Weiss. Uh, and then now Flesh and Blood. Well, Flesh and Blood, he's been complaining a lot that the flesh and blood players the local game stores have been screenshotting his prices and reporting him to the lss and lss has to have a heart to heart with rudy chan about the you know not undercutting the game stores who offer the valuable gameplay that gives me hope that maybe flesh and blood is on you know have been able to kind of make their own path Something that obviously Rudy was expecting more promo from MetaZoo that MetaZoo was never able to. Now, back to the initial thing, and I, I really want you guys to 
understand um, that this is just a sales program. Like, this isn't your best friend. This isn't a friend of yours. This is someone you pay money to for entertainment. And this is someone who has a vested interest. And in, even I think he would even admit he has a vested interest in selling boxes. Now, if boxes were this good and he, you can hold these boxes and they would go up in price, then the answer is why wouldn't he hold these specific boxes? He's already holding a million dollars plus in Weiss, according to himself. He's already holding tons of Meta Zoo, according to himself. Um, what is the problem? He's already holding many, many dead card games. What is the problem of holding this if you believe it will go up? Now, he wants to sell it because it's worthless. He doesn't believe in the future of this particular set because, again, the set... And, and you don't need to look at... You can just look at prices, guys. And the the um, narrative he uses about all oh, these collector boxes, everyone thought they would hit $99. No, no one thought that. And no one would hope that. If you're paying $180 a distributor for a collector's box, hitting $100 is really crazy. That's 50% less than distribution cost. Like, who would think a product that you would buy from a distributor at $180 would ever be $99? So, my... My main concern about him is he does, he's a showman, he exaggerates data points. Like, I'm going to try in the future to show you more data points uh, in prices, eBay auctions, TCG players sold, sold. I know this is an interesting concept for a lot of the uh, fans of Alpha Investment. But I think it's worth me doing because the more numbers and facts and the information I can share... Just hard numbers, right? I'm showing MetaZoo eBay of his own promos. There's no hiding. There's no pretending what my promos worth anymore. Or you know, is, a, is it Santa Claus worth a thousand dollars or ten thousand dollars? No, I mean it sells for a thousand dollars, right? It sells for a hundred dollars. PSA ten. It's like okay, that's what it's worth. So I think um, he's going to promote Magic the Gathering because he has nothing else to promote. MetaZoo is out. Uh, if he if MetaZoo continue to exist, I am certain he would be promoting MetaZoo today, and he would be making most of his margins on MetaZoo because they have huge margins, and he wouldn't really be promoting Magic. He would go back to his Hasbro sucks, Magic sucks videos. Like if you really think about what he's saying, how can he say a company sucks, right? And we can trust the company when. In fact, they're the ones producing the product, and at many points, they're overprinting the product for financial gain, right? So, why would we trust a product? Why would we trust a product produced by someone with that, you know, belief, right? I don't think we would. I honestly don't think we would, but Alpha Investment does, and that's the disconnect.